Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. One, I'm sorry because it's been so long. Thanks, Gloria. Perfect timing. I was waiting for that to finish. It's Ro here. Everybody, this is Ro here. He's a superstar. Oh, please, no. A long time ago, I approached him. I said, I think I'm meeting a famous person. Very humble, though. You remember yeah. what you said to me? I said, I'm not famous. I'm just another no. guy, yeah, man. Exactly. Um, do you want to tell everybody about your channel, your YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah, so I'm from Drive London. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I've done videos on driving, mock tests and stuff. And um, I know I've paused at the moment. I will be back on the channel again. But in due course. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I think everyone needs a break every now exactly. and again, myself included. I've yeah, just yeah. come back from a long break. And mm -hmm. people are saying, like, your new videos look like a five year old's made <laughs> there. I was like, I'm just taking a break, guys. That's it. Exactly. All right. So, what we're going to do is try to do one of the hardest routes here at South Hall yeah. and try to get the perfect test. <laughs> it's very difficult. I know we're driving instructors, I know. but. Now I know how my pupils to feel. <laughs> it takes you back, doesn't exactly. it? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, we're we're not going to waste too much time. Uh, Satnav is programmed. It is back to front at the moment, but you know how yeah, it yeah. works. Once mm -hmm. you move, she'll re, cool. re uh, position. Okay, so if you're happy to start, let's just do a quick tell me question. So sure. would you be able to tell I'm me? Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> in. You just got some good luck. Yeah, uh, too good luck. Yeah. The birds just crapping on my car. <laughs> right, okay, would you be able to tell me where would you find the correct tire pressure and how would you go about checking the tire the pressure? Use a manual and using a reliable tire pressure gauge. Lovely, perfect. Obviously, Rohit's going to get that correct. It's always when you just wash your car that the birds decide yeah, to pull exactly. all over it. Okay. I know the feeling. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, take your time, drive on, and follow the sat nav. Sweet. Okay, drive, yes. Yeah, if you do have any questions about the vehicle, obviously I ask you, you haven't driven this before. This is yeah. a brand new vehicle. Rohit's the first person to do a mock test in the brand new Honda E. Yeah. So, um, That's nice. Yeah, it's a bit different. Yeah. You've got the Mercedes like I used to have, so the Mercedes A-Class. Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't know why I just checked my blind spot, but... <laughs> Let's see. It's all good, no harm. Turn right, Westbury Avenue, then turn right. When people are doing the motorbike test, they've got to do that. They've got to always exactly. check over the blind spots. Lifesaver. Turn right, Firecroft Road, then... At the end of the road, turn left. All right, cool. No problem there. Listening to the sat nav, knowing where to go. Do you find a lot of students struggle with the sat nav? Um, at the beginning, yeah. But I just always tell them, listen, if you go the wrong direction, it's not a problem. Like you don't need to focus at on it too much. At the end of the road. Turn and left. Find yourself in a pickle. Just make sure you come out of it safely. Cool. Turn left. Lovely. It's sort of a little bit similar to the road at Isleworth Driving Test Centre, and then you come straight out. Very narrow road. Buses, yeah. The buses are on that road at Isleworth as well, aren't they? I think. I think they come up and down that narrow road. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Just checking that red light's on. Yeah, it's perfect. I get paranoid sometimes. So I didn't yeah. push record on one of the cameras. <laughs> That's happened to me plenty yeah, of it's horrible, yeah. isn't it? Nice. I love seeing people that have the habit of checking their side mirrors to change of direction. Oh, I go crazy about those. Yeah, it's like my religion. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> from my experience, I hit a bicycle once. No way. Yeah, I used to be a career delivery driver. Oh, At gosh. the end of the road, turn left, B455, right slip road. This was before sat now, so I decided to pull over and check the, uh, check the map. Mm -hmm. And I didn't check my mirrors. Yeah, it was really <laughs> bad. Luckily, everything was okay. Yeah. No real big damage. It was very Turn slow. Left. From that day onwards, I always check my mirrors. So I do share that story with my learners to try and of get course. them to learn from my experience. Mm -hmm. You know, the last thing you want to do is hit someone when you're driving, right? Yeah. Literally, like 
Let's go. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Kensington Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. She knew what she was doing for a second. Right. Yeah. Back right. and forwards. Exactly. If you're not sure, just stop. Yeah. Good advice. Mm -hmm. Try and read the body language. Sometimes yeah. it's difficult. Especially when people stand there with the mobile phone. It's yeah. the crossing. Mm -hmm. That's getting paranoid again. Yes, thank God that red light's <laughs> on as well. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> Well done with your speed limits. What do, you, what do you think of this road as being a 20? Uh, it does confuse me. Um, I have to be very careful about what I say because mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know what people know that have set it to 20. You know, yeah. It's not my job, that's for them. I just try to work out why it might have been set to 20. So if the pavements are very wide, there's plenty of room for pedestrians, you've got lampposts there, it's you know, kind of giving them a little bit of protection. Mm -hmm. If it's 20 because of the pedestrians, that confuses me. Yeah. I could understand if there was no pavement, people might be walking in the road, or if the pavement was so close to the road, mm -hmm. and it's very narrow, restricted, totally get it. Yeah. This type of situation, I don't understand yeah. why it's been set to 20. It in could fact, be because of that part. Oh, that's yeah. a very good reason, actually. After isn't 200 there? yards, Not turn left, of Western Avenue. Same. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> But as instructors, we've got to be super careful, you know, yeah. what we say. No, of course. We've got to teach good practice. Turn left. Yes, I believe it was 20, yes. Oh, they've set this to 20 as well. Wow. You'd think that this would be a little bit like a 30 at least, because yeah, you've got to build, build speed. speed. Well, it's a giveaway, I think, up there. So, so it's usually. not your normal. It's not your normal slip road. It's not, is it? Yeah, because it joins you into another slip road. It's like a yeah. slip road into a slip road, yeah. And then up to the big bad boy roundabout. Mm -hmm. Well done, that's why we've got those side mirrors so that the pedestrians can, uh, pedestrians, people watching can see. Yeah. Well, I think it's very helpful. Right, okay, so then when we get to the target roundabout, isn't it, the big mm -hmm. one here? And we'll be turning right. We're setting uh, some nice challenges for Roya yeah. today. <laughs> After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A312 Church Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Very nice acceleration there. Thank you. Feel similar to your vehicle? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. the A classes are quite quick, aren't they? Yeah, on the acceleration. Third exit. Correct, yes, please. Harrow. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Yeah. Now, as an instructor, you yeah. know what to do, right? Yeah. Okay, Take so the exit, A312, Church Road. It's all good. As long as we're safe. Yeah. Exactly. All right, lovely. Just keep to left. We'll just follow this lane sure. down. Left. We can come back round if that's alright. Yeah, yeah, one more time. Turn right, mm -hmm. Kensington Road. Then turn right. So if we just continue to follow the sat nav. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I would offer you the sun visor, but yeah. if you do, the microphone's yeah, gonna come flying down. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You can have my sunglasses <laughs> if you want. Turn I usually right, got a spare then pair. 
Turn right. I'm so used to doing the full fegs on that roundabout. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is that just like muscle memory? Yeah. All right, let's take the third exit for you. Cool, thank you. Turn right, Western Avenue. Oh, that's good. So, Rohit's got correct position. Taxi driver is a little bit out of the safest position. He's kind of blocking these cars that might want to pass. This is one of my pet peeves, so I'm so you know happy yeah. with the way you positioned obviously you know what you're doing mm -hmm. but it's really important for students to learn this position nice and straight so that the vehicles on the main road can still continue to flow around us mm -hmm. all right we'll let row hit focus now <laughs> Maybe I'll ask you, you'll show me a question while you're going round the roundabout. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that. I've heard an examiner did that to a student once, oh, yeah. though. Oh. can actually use this lane. Can you? Yeah. So just to help people that are watching, you see this line next to you? Mm -hmm. Just stay next to it. Don't cross it. That'll put you in the correct lane for Harrow. Put you in like the left lane to go towards Harrow. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A312 Church Road. That's it. So your middle lane to middle lane. It just makes it easier when you get to the exit. Does that make sense? You can use that lane as well. Yeah. But then when you get to the exit, do you remember how it kind of keeps you, like you're going to go around the fourth exit? Yeah. Obviously, you'd have to swap over to change to go to third exit. This lane, however, yeah. will keep you in the left lane as you reach the third exit. I think. And you've got the road markings for Harrow as well. In that third, when we were approaching in the middle yeah. lane, is so it Harrow? It does. Uh, it's got a straight arrow. I think it says Harrow in it as well. So what happens is you approach that traffic light, mm -hmm. the left lane opens into two. So you can either stay on the left and go left, or you can stay in the middle and use the middle one. Yeah. So go right, arrow. We're we'll gonna talk about that later. Yeah, so, I had this discussion as well, yeah. Take the exit, A312, Church Road. Maybe you've got some inside knowledge, or maybe I'm, I might be incorrect. So that'd yeah. definitely be something definitely worthwhile. For people learning here, it's, it's a big roundabout. Yeah, it's, it's a complicated roundabout. <laughs> so how would you advise? So, um, I, sorry? How would you advise? I would have used the furthest right lane, and then when you enter the roundabout, that right lane immediately splits into two. So the lane I used just there was actually incorrect for that exit. It had the road mark in St. Harrow. As, I don't know now, I can't remember at the top of my all head. Right. Yeah. We'll take a look at this. You're all good. This instructor's just <laughs> arguing. Yeah. yeah, no, it's good though, isn't it? Because sometimes there are these grey areas. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it can be really hard for us then to tell people what the correct thing is. Yeah. That really frustrates me in mm -hmm. teaching. You know? I try to ask the examiners sometimes what their outlook on that is. And, yeah, you know, sometimes I, I don't get it clear answer mm -hmm. and then it's even more frustrating so I don't know what to do anymore I just do my best yeah okay uh, right here when it's safe I might ask that in a second After 200 yards, sharp left, East Lane North.
sharp left. When it's safe, I'd like you to show me, nice and easy, and maybe we can have a discussion about this as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when it's safe, I'd like you to show me how to beep the horn. Sure. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Um, so the discussion that I was well, a question I was going to ask you, because mm -hmm. you pre pretty much just demonstrated it, but is there a safe time to beep the horn, or can you just beep the horn whenever you like? I think, yeah, there's a safe time, because yeah. obviously you just don't want to make it look like you've just beeped at someone else and distract them from the road. So I would say when it's a bit more clearer, and so I made sure there's no oncoming cars um, and not, nothing in front of us, so it doesn't look like we're trying to encourage the car in front to go faster. Nice, yeah, that's a good point, yeah. And this road is super long, mm -hmm. super 20. Yeah. 20 is plenty. Yeah, that's you heard true. that? Yeah, that's nice actually. Pl plenty what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can add a word to the end of that, and yeah. it probably wouldn't be what the government are imagining. It's true. How long have you been an instructor? Um, nine years now. All right, yeah. so it's a similar time. Yeah, same? Yeah, I feel about nine, ten years. Nice mirrors. Did you train with, did you self-train or um, did you do that? So, a guy called Stuart Kelly. Okay, his yeah. name rings a bell actually. Yeah, yeah, he's a really good guy, I think he's retired now. So for speed change, I'm looking for where it changes the other direction. I don't see a speed change for the other direction, that's quite interesting. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Victoria Road. So that's us coming towards Victoria Road. timing on that signal. Lovely observations. Excellent reinstating the signal as well. Yeah, I like how you passed that little exit for the shops before you chucked on the signal. Yeah. Even though it's a no entry, it's still nice, you know, it doesn't confuse. confuse yeah, yeah, exactly. You know about the road markings at the next roundabout? All right. <laughs> a lot of people fail their driving tests yeah. at Greenford and Southall. Victoria Road's used for both test centres, mm -hmm. and quite commonly, people don't pay attention to the next roundabout when they receive a serious driver fall. Sure. After sure 200 yards, guess. cross yeah. the roundabout and take the second exit, Victoria Road. Very faint, can you see Cross that? the roundabout and take the second exit. Lovely. Nice, very nice line through the roundabout. Just a silky smooth here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you teach people that it's okay or sometimes maybe they might need to slightly go on the circle? How do you stand uh, yeah. on that yeah. one? So yeah. I say to them, go around as much as possible without overdoing it, and if it means going over the markings, perfectly fine. Yeah, because sometimes it's safer, huh? Because yeah. you might have a left lane exactly. like we did, and if mm -hmm. we try to swerve, we might go into the left lane. Yeah. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Victoria Road, then turn left. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then Turn left. 
lovely right mirror check there. Well done. Obviously, with plenty of experience, that's just natural to you. Yeah. But that was good. Why? After what made you want to shift the right? So there's two lanes. Drive. Someone could be overtaking from the other lane. You'll be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Motorbikes. Mm -hmm. The cyclists, you'll be surprised. <laughs> Turn left. Right, the cyclists are getting quick these days. Yeah. You can do 30 miles an hour quite easily. Especially with those electric, electric bikes. bikes. yeah. Very nice observations for your giveaway lines. Well done. Very good with the signals as well. It's just like second nature again. You just know they're off. You put them back on. It's mm -hmm. brilliant. Um, okay, let's uh, just go do your maneuver real quick. You just keep following the road for a little bit. I'm just going to take you off from what the sat nav is asking us to do at the moment. Uh, I'd like to take the next road on the left, please. Cut the traffic as well. Is Isleworth most commonly where you would go? Yeah. Isleworth, South or and Yedding now. I'd like you to find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Perfect. And drive on when you're ready. Sure. And disregard the sat nav for now. I'll give you directions instead. Cool. Thank you. Is it just me, or do you have a pain in the right shoulder for constantly having to kill it? <laughs> do you have that? Is it? It comes and goes. Yeah, all right, yeah, it's like a tightness. Yeah. I get that quite a lot. At the end of the road, turn right. Sure. And one more time, if you could find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Normally, we can use a car there to do the reverse park. It doesn't look great today. We might be able to find one a bit further down. So I'm going to ask you to drive on, and I believe there will be a vehicle further down. As we get close, I'm going to ask you to stop parallel to a vehicle of my sure. choice, and then yep. we'll do the reverse park. When you're ready okay. and it's safe, drive on. Turn right, Dean Avenue. Okay, what's that learner doing? Do you think they'll pull away? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, would you use this vehicle to do the reverse park, please? Sure. The purple Mitsubishi. Uh, Miss right. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. All new. Cool. So I've never parked in this car before, but it's good to see car. Okay, it's weak. Okay. I'll let him go. Ta-da! Perfect parking from Rohit. Okay, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on and continue to follow Satnav. Perfect. This will be the last stretch of the mock test. So has this car convinced you yet to make the change to Honda instead of Mercedes? Yeah. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> no, <Not then>. no, <laughs> just straight on. Yeah, it looks like a dead end. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people get confused here. So we've got the chevrons. The chevrons are just showing us that there's a way to go still. Mm. Otherwise, uh, yes. yes, most definitely it'd be a dead end. 
lovely looking into the bend well done so that you know it's okay to go over the line because you need to kind of go over that line there it's so narrow you won't be able to keep the lane discipline but effective observations you can see it's safe at the end of the okay. road turn left station approach then at the end of the road turn left love those mirror checks so nice you probably don't even notice you're doing them it's so mm -hmm. second nature yeah Turn left, then, at the end of the road, turn left. I'm learning new route myself now. Turn yeah, left, this is the hardest <laughs> route, by the way. West End Road. Especially the target roundabout that yeah. you did earlier. You know, we went there a couple of times. Yeah, I am 90% of people will fail at that roundabout yeah. unless they've gone over it enough times. Mm -hmm. Even for an experienced driver, myself included, it's hella confusing yeah, that roundabout. Yeah, as you saw with me as well. Yeah, <laughs> but you're safe, right? Yeah. So, non, non fault, not an issue. Yeah. I feel so bad for Ro here. He can't use his sunrise, so he's like squinting to try and see the road. Sorry, bro. No worries. <laughs> kind of screwed you over there. Yeah. And I'll remember that for next time. That will come here, so no worries. you guys can use it if you need it. Sometimes people can be asked to follow signs on this route as well. After 300 yards, Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4180, B455, towards South Orr. Lovely again, bro. It's very good. You might just seen him check all the mirrors there. Excellent lane discipline. Cross very the roundabout early and take the second exit. Fantastic. Excellent lane discipline. Take the exit, A4180, B455, West End Road. Perfect timing on the mirror signal. Excellent awareness again with the traffic that may overtake on the right. Well done. Thank you. It's like I'm talking to a student, obviously. Yeah, no, of course. You're very far from that, yeah. but it's nice for people to hear, right? Of course. Okay, because they are students, aren't they? Yeah. So, uh, this might be a bit of a personal question, but roughly, how much do you think you might spend on fuel per day? Per day? Yeah, so, you can give an estimate. Um, the beak. Say, about a day, about 20 pounds. Mm, yeah. Thank you, that's exactly the same that I was spending yeah. before. Now, how much I'm spending now? How much? Five pounds. No way. Yeah. <laughs> does it, so, does this still take fuel? No. Okay. Pure electric. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, where's that five pound going towards? Uh, five pounds just to plug in and charge oh, yes. up. yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. So wait, this is not a hybrid. This is not a hybrid. This okay. is one hundred percent electric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't self charge. It does to an extent. So it's just an experiment. Mm -hmm. Would you press this button here? Which is the one pedal. I would push it for you, but it's nicer if you do it yourself. Now, feel that? Yeah. And have a look at that. So, when you release the, the accelerator, After 300 yeah, just yards, make sure it's safe. Cross the roundabout it will go green and, the and into the charge. Ah, it's yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. You're going to turn you back to normal. Sure. Okay, so you're back to normal again. Mm -hmm. the roundabout and take the third exit very good with your traffic light i'm not sure what that lady's doing yeah. <laughs> she's brave a bit past the stop lines so you've got the giveaway lines instead of what the oh giveaway. yeah good point so, yeah so she could continue huh yeah yeah a little bit hesitant though mm -hmm. i think she should yeah, have just... gone at the yeah. start Yeah, so that's the only way it kind of charges itself, which is really good. Mm -hmm. So if you're driving in the inner city and you use that one pedal, you really wouldn't 
waste the battery too much. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of stop start in the inner city. It's when you hit the motorways, yeah. the battery just rinses. Mm -hmm. It's gone in. How many miles would you get out of this on a full charge? On a full charge, 100. Okay. Um, so it's all right. I mean, it's built for the city, not for the yeah. countryside. Yeah. Yeah, these guys don't stick to their lanes, do they? Well done. Amazing with the signals. Really, really Take good. Take the exit, A312, so the good. parkway. This is what I wish every student could be yeah, no. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Yeah. You're learning. I know, I understand. A few instructors make the switch to teaching people to become driving instructors, and I think half of the reason is because they want a more smoother ride. Yeah. <laughs> So instead of going the boring way back yards, to the test centre, turn left on the roundabout. Turn left on the roundabout. And, and you know what Starbucks is? Yeah. Left yeah. Road, then sharp left. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then sharp left. Going to Yedding Test Centre, it's just the same kind of way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just round, just round and there's behind us, isn't it? And we're going to go into a Starbucks. Perfect. So, for anyone that's Turn doing right, the test at Yedding, then go right there. on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Amazing. Uh, instead of the drive through, we'll just park up somewhere nearby. Yeah, sure. so if yeah. you can just take us into the car park and then we'll. So this is a perfect example of having to go on the circle. Because there's that, another car there Yeah, as well. and we can show people that, so it's really mm -hmm. good. And you can see the difference. Amazing. It's the position, I just, just so straight, you know, in line. It's obviously second nature to you. It's really important when we're learning to drive position. Okay, um, should we be... Um, turn posh. right, then turn left. You hear it beep oh, at you. Um, we'll use it. Let's see. Yeah, it should hopefully see these spaces. So just stay in the middle. I'm not worried about you being too put. I just want to see if it parks itself. Come to the end of the road and we'll see if it. There, so there's one. Oh, is that Gone now. Let's go forward, see it. Might see another one. There. So now. Uh, hold the brake, thank you, and then now, I think you can just relax, so take your hand off the foot of the brake and don't touch the steering wheel. This is too weird. Now there's a Range Rover oh, Velar. Are, are you sure about that? What? Okay. It'll be alright, let's just see if it sees her, that'll be interesting. This car's oh. quite good in seeing stuff. It actually went forward on its own as well. Yeah, and the Velar won't do that. Yeah. 70 grand yeah. Range Rover Velar, fully kitted out, and it won't stop and go forwards for you. And it won't stop you from reversing. So you see this? The Range Rover won't stop it. Keep going and hit the thing behind you. Oh, yeah? 70 grand. All right, you know what? It's not the best spot. Yeah. Could you just put us yeah. forwards? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all those noises are really annoying. Nice. Oh, 
All right, lovely. And just put us in park, please. Cool, yeah, that's the best one. And then just hit that one for me, so. Yeah, Perfect. absolutely brilliant. All right, and uh, we're done. So Relax. <laughs> so, give me a moment to go over my results. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel it went? Not bad, but if it was me, right. I would have failed myself. Why? Just because that one roundabout. Because I felt like I, I used the wrong lane, but I did do it safely. Yeah, though. completely so, safe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so really why, why are you so hard <laughs> on yourself, bro? You don't need to be. You're, you're doing everything perfect. So yeah. perfect, you passed. It's a clean sheet. There's no marks whatsoever. Thank you. Yeah. So can we take his driving instructor badge, just be yeah. a student, <laughs> and we'll just go and do tests, and you'll That's fly it, through exactly. all the tests, make me look really good. Um, but yeah, perfect. Thank well you. done. So clean um, sheet, yeah. Yes, yeah, so a clean nice. sheet. So don't bother watching my YouTube channel. Go <laughs> yeah. to Rohit's YouTube channel. No. Drive London. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Are you on anything else? You on no. TikTok or yeah? So you can find Instagram. me on TikTok, Instagram. All Drive At London. At the moment, everything needs to. I just need to get back into it. But yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Give me, cool. give me a couple of weeks. All right, big then. following. Obviously, really good advice from Rohit as well. I've always enjoyed watching your mock tests Thank and you. stuff like that no. as well. Same, likewise, guys. Great instructor. Um, his videos are really good as well. I think some of them are better than mine. So go check his <laughs> channel out and keep watching his channel. But yeah. <laughs> He's just stroking my ego. Well, <laughs> thanks for that, Rohit. I really appreciate it. Thank you for so, the So, I've been Scott. Yeah. This has been Rohit. Stay safe, stay tuned. Exactly. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys. <laughs>